Hello, and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. Now, this week it's coming from the Netherlands, and I've heard about this system for a long time, and I really wanted to come and find out more. This is a fast NED charger. The whole roof is solar panels. They've got fast chargers, and they've got a Chadamo adapter. Bart, thank you so much for letting me charge my car using, using a fast NED charger. This is my first time. Driving up the highway and I saw the one on the other side yeah. and there's this great big yellow thing. You yeah. can see it so you know where it is so you're not like looking for a charge around the back of somewhere. So tell me how, this, how the idea came about then to, yeah. to put these chargers in. Yeah, well, it started with the chargers. Right. I, I invested in a company in, uh, in Delft where the technical university is and it was a startup and they made these chargers already. Right. right. And it was very successful. We sold a lot to the old big car makers. And then I thought, well, if they're going to buy chargers, then they will be serious about electric cars. Yeah. So where are these cars going to charge? Yeah. So I talked about it with Michiel, who's my companion. He worked at uh, Epion, was the name of the company. And then we made a plan. OK, we're going to build charging stations, not separate charges, at the best locations where we have the most cars which of course is along the highway. Yeah. But then we thought we would have to make an astonishing design. Yeah. Otherwise people won't see it, won't remember it, won't go there. So that's how we started right. with Fastnet. So who, I mean, who owns this bit of land yeah. that's by the, next to the highway? Yeah. The, the owner is the Dutch government, it's the Ministry of Infrastructure. Right. And they rent a part of the, the area to the gas station, which you will see over there. And we buy a similar part of land from the government to build a uh, charging station. One of the things I can sort of tell by the way it's built, you could clearly expand it. So you, at the moment yeah. there's only these two chargers here, but you've got room to put in more. Yeah, the, the, the connection and also the layout is meant to have eight chargers. Yeah. Because uh, when it starts, you think in range, eh? you need yeah. a charger every 50 or 100 kilometers. Uh, but we think more in capacity. Yeah. We think if we have a million electric cars, what capacity do you need? Yeah. So then you need stations like this, yes. with at least eight chargers. Yeah. It's a bad day today because it's yeah, quite yeah. grey, a bit like the weather we have. But on a good day, do, that, do these solar panels actually feed electricity directly yeah, into yeah, these chargers? Yeah, they feed it directly into the charger. Right. And it's in a, in a good day, it's enough for about three cars. You're kidding. That, yeah. That's producing enough for, so three yeah. cars could charge up. Yeah. That is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Because I noticed you, there's a, a, an image of a wind turbine on the side. Is most yeah. of the electricity you use from renewables? Is that one of the plans yeah. of the company? Yeah, it's, it's, it's some from the, from the solar panels, but most is from the, the grid. And we have a contract with an energy uh, company and they only use uh, wind right. energy, right. Dutch wind energy. Dutch yeah. wind. <laughs> Only Dutch. Yeah. You, don't, you don't buy any of our wind energy then? No, no, no. no. We should because the pound is low now. So we should. I'm just going to say it's very cheap. Uh -huh. <laughs> so how many stations have you got now? In, we have in 50, 50 stations like this now in the Netherlands. You've already, there's already 50? There are already like 50. Wow. So you can drive around in, in, in Holland and have a charger every 50, 60 kilometers. Right. Um, but we're going to build 200. We have contracts for 200 locations like this. Wow. Yeah. I certainly see a lot of electric cars in the yeah. Netherlands, but you don't know how... What there are about 8 million cars in Holland, and there are only 10,000 full electric cars. Right. So it's very small. Still very small. Yeah. But, but is it growing? I mean, are, is it... It's is growing it? fast. Right. And there's a prediction to have a million electric cars in Holland in, within 10 years. And we think it's realistic. Yeah. Uh, so a million electric cars is a massive change and yes. requires a lot of charging. You only use an app for this. Yeah. And I saw when you plugged it all in, it was uh. very straightforward. It was very quick. So, and, th and you get charged through the app. Yes. That's how, that's how yeah. you pay for it. And so rough, can you, do you know what the cost is per kilowatt hour or per charge? Is it, I don't know what, how much you would pay. Uh, to there, there are different schemes. Uh, most used is uh, that people pay 12 euros per month right. and then you pay 35 cents per kilowatt hour right. and then you can also choose unlimited it's 99 euros per month and then it's unlimited you can just fill it as often yeah. and as you then want. some people they choose just to come here uh, several times a year right. and then they just pay per kilowatt hour and so then you it's can, 79 so cents i see all oh, right so you pay 79 cents a kilowatt hour. Yeah. can't yeah, so i see so that's yeah. it's not cheap cheap no but it's, no. But it's 
But, but most ridiculous. common is, I think, 35 cents. Right. Because yeah. what would you pay uh, for your household electricity? How much a kilowatt? 20 cents. 20 cents, yeah. right. 20. You know, that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. You don't have electric cars. You do tend to charge them at home if you can. Of course. But Everybody will charge at home if you can. Clearly, what could happen here is you could have live in an apartment where you can't charge your car, but yeah. there's so many of these around yeah. that it doesn't matter. You can charge yeah. them here. Yeah, what we, what we think that, let's say, the first 50,000 EV drivers, they can charge at home. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you won't buy an electric no. car. But if you have a million, yeah. then 80% won't be able to charge at home because yeah. it's, they live in apartments. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, and what also counts is that the, the charging speed goes up. Huh? Yes. So that's one thing you're calculating is that you'll be these yeah. will be able to work faster in the future. Yes. Because this is what now 50 kilowatts is this that? 50 kilowatts, right. and we expect it will go up to 300 by 2020 in five years. Right. So it's tech six times faster. Yeah. Hundred times faster than at home. Yes. Right. Yeah. And then it starts to make real sense. Yes. It's really quick. Yeah. Then. then you have to make a choice, or I fill up my battery yeah. in 10 minutes. Yeah. Or I go home. Roll plug out the cable, yeah. <laughs> plug in. Yeah. Five years ago, I had to explain people what's an electric car. Yeah. Yeah. Now they explain me that the future is electric cars. Yes. So yeah. I'm a happy man. <laughs> and then presumably, because uh, that's a question I've been asked a lot, the, the power supply, uh, if you've got a, a, a gas station, yeah. do they already have a fairly big power supply? Because you clearly need a, a good substantial power supply to run these charges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the the good thing is that the, the big cable, Yeah. Uh, yeah, how in Dutch is middle mid spanning. Right. It's, it's, uh, the mid the big it's along, cable. It's along yeah. the highways. It's along the highways yeah. anyway. So you've yeah, always got it along the near. highways. Right. Yeah, the high voltage cables are along the highways. Right. Oh. right. So it's easier actually in a, along the highway than in the city. Right. Because yeah. aren't you putting these in cities as well? Yeah, in yeah, sort of yeah, urban yeah. areas. We start this year in The Hague with right. five stations, right. and then we go to the other cities. And yeah. that, are they in a similar setup as this, or are they more just in a, like a car park or? Yeah, they are, they are a bit different because you don't have that much room, so it's more uh, rectangular. Right. Uh, but, but it has the same roof design. No, I it? think the design will be a bit different, right. but you will, will directly recognize Fastnet. It will, will also be yellow, it will be with solar panels. And so in, in this expansion, you're not planning on expanding to the UK, for instance, to, to well, put Well, London would be great. Right. Yeah, so there, there is a tender for London and we will apply for it. And like major cities, of course. Yeah. I think the, the roof is a necessity. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't see why you have to stand in the rain when you drive an electric car. Yeah. And that, so it's actually, are you, is there any talk of you having like hit like there, a nice coffee shop, like yeah, right yeah, next yeah. to it? And we have enough uh, customers that will be right. uh, a shop and a toilet and yeah. everything. Because yeah. at the moment you can use the one down yes. in the garage, but yeah. it's a bit, bit of a trek. Yeah, but now yeah, you have to walk for a hundred meters. Yeah. Uh, and now a couple of people do that every day. Yeah. But if we have hundreds of cars here, it's... You can't do that. Yeah, you need you to have it. Yeah, yeah, you have to have your own shop and your own yeah. uh, everything. Yes. Does that, is that telling me it's... I'll just, I'll just... Oh, look at that, 85%. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, I think that is very interesting to meet a company like Fastned that are really seeing the future uh, and planning for the future and, and have a really clear idea and a very realistic idea of how you install a charging infrastructure and how important it is to have that rolled out as electric cars become more common and how they kind of planned ahead. So they've got room to expand their, their existing chargers and put more, more charge points in. So I think, you know, Ecotricity are doing it in the UK, uh, Fastnet clearly doing it in Europe and uh, maybe the UK. I mean, they've got they've got some sites that they could do it in they're clearly going to be doing it in London and also how you pay for the electricity that you know it's not it's not going to be free we've always known that um, you know this the charge network has been put in in place in the UK and you can use it for free but not for long uh, you know they've got to charge for it. it doesn't make sense otherwise so at the moment they're still going through their kind of learning phase of teaching people how to use the chargers and the fact that they actually supply a Tesla Chadamo adapter for Tesla users and they've had a lot of Tesla drivers use it. I just think it's brilliant. So really there's only one thing left for me to say as I cruise along the ultra smooth uh, highways of, uh, of the Netherlands and that is if you have been thank you for watching. <laughs>